sorry, Eddie. It's just another spur to my suicide. Now, come on, let's hurry up and kill me before you get pissed and try and consummate the marriage. <laughs> All right, well, have you had any thoughts on how you'd like to go? Ooh, uh... Excellent choice. <laughs> Electric chair? It is. Instantaneous, and you won't feel a thing. Electric chair? The choice of the star. <laughs> I shall be but a moment. Oh, he's gone. This is it. I'm all alone. My last few moments. Possibly only a minute to live. What shall I do with my last few moments? Ever oh. wait! It's a common in Southampton. <laughs> Sailor. Diddly do do diddly do. <laughs> You're not sitting under there. I should put your brollies up if I was you. <laughs> oh, God. My fucking knees. <laughs> uh, sorry, Lord. Full start. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord. Oh, Lordy, Lord. <laughs> Look, man to man. Well, man to lordy. <laughs> are we talking tridents up the jacksy? <laughs> or are we talking harps on clouds, you know, with all angels all flapping about the place, all looking like Michelle Pfeiffer? <laughs> Actually, that's a point, lordy. You know, oh, I've often thought this. You know, uh, oh, you know, uh, Girl angels, right. Well, you know how they have those big wings at the back? <laughs> well, does that sort of preclude them from fastening their bras at the back? <laughs> does it? So what, do they just not bother? <laughs> so, I mean, I know it's a holy place, you know, and we've all done art O-level. <laughs> but I mean, rum and blum, it must be a bit of a jug fest up there, isn't it? <laughs> hey, no wonder all the bloke angels all flap about the place blowing their own trumpets. <laughs> If you could just see your way to give me some sort of sign as to, you know, which way I'm going, then I'd know whether to follow through with all of this, because, you know, I mean, if it's all going to be whipping and screaming and leather and restraints, then obviously, I'm on. <laughs> hey, well, in that case, it doesn't really matter which way I go, does it? It's a sort of universal juggerama. <laughs> Eddie, I'm dying to shuffle off this mortal coil and get myself a major league eyeful at last! <laughs> Bit of a problem on the electric chair, Front Richie, but oh. never mind. I've improvised Ooh. and I've come up with. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> the electric lavatory! Oh. It's magnificent. I mean, state of the art or what? I mean, Gary Gilmore yeah. and Al Capone, you know, and, and Bonnie and Clyde, they all thought they were really hard and great and cool, didn't they? But uh-uh, no way did they have double flush action and blue loo round the U-bend. That's right, matey, so just like to sit yourself here. Righto. Uh, yep. Trousers on or off? On, I think. You can never quite be sure about the effects of the high voltage. <laughs> Ooh, it's a snug fit. I'll put this on here. Ooh. Oh. Right. Here we go then. Yep. Oh, Eddie, have I got it's... time to say goodbye to all my friends? Uh, ooh. I don't think five seconds is going to make much difference here or there. <laughs> here goes then. Uh, bye bye, Eddie. Yep. Bye. <laughs> and that's that done. Good. <laughs> then we can get going. <laughs> I'll just uh, turn it all on and we'll be on our way. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Frying tonight. <laughs> oh, blimey. Any, any chance of a prayer? You haven't got one, mate. <laughs> now, are you ready?
ready to go? Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, no, wait, Eddie, wait. Go on. Look, I, I, ju um, I just want to say that, you know, we've known each other a long time, and, you know, I, well, I know we've had our little spats. <laughs> well, we've had our big spats, too, haven't we? Oh, this is stupid. Look, I guess all I'm really trying to say is thank you for being my friend. <laughs> Oh, they said. Uh, yes. Now, uh, hold tight because you might feel a bit of a tingle. <laughs> and five, four, three, oh, seven, twelve, twenty-six. Fuck, I wish I could count. <laughs> hey, go. <laughs> Having it off with Bonnie Langford, this really isn't it? Eddie? Oh, hang on, I think I can see the problem. <laughs> Telephone! <gasps> it's all go today, isn't it? <laughs> Hello? Richard, Richard? No, he can't quite get to the phone at the moment. Uh, this is Eddie Richard, his son and wife. <laughs> Who is it, Eddie? It's Sue Carpenter. <gasps> Sue Carpenter! Get down, Shep! <laughs> she says she wants to have wild, unbridled, passionate sex with you. Absolutely no questions asked. <gasps> really? No, only joking. <laughs> she wants to do it with me. God, Eddie, how do you do it? You sort of... Get on top and wriggle about the place a bit. What, no foreplay? Nah, mate. Just the two of us. Oh. <laughs> Let's just keep your voice down, Mr. Bastard, or he'll hear you. <laughs> Not quite gone yet. <laughs> yes, about the £15,000 debt. Uh, oh, oh, one small question. Uh, what do you mean precisely by the word debt? <sighs> There's a bastard on the phone that says you and I, as your legal son and wife, owe him 15 grand. And if he doesn't get it by two o'clock, he's going to come round here and drive slowly over our testes with a steamroller. <laughs> and that's just the whore's duvet. <laughs> if I know all this already, you vast, poisoned, intergalactic buttock from Sainsbury's. <laughs> That's why I'm killing myself! Jesus Christ, and look at the time! That's it, matey, shift over! Give me one of those electrodes. Right, this is it, this is it! Off we go! Oh, good night! <laughs>